hello everyone so let's start the video so i will be using the resin that i bought from timu so this is how it looks like and this is the mold the vintage tray that i was telling you about i was super excited to try this one so here we go i have mixed my resin here it is a low viscosity resin one to one ratio super easy to mix so I will be making this tray in two layers so this one is going to be my first layer. I will be filling this halfway. it's not going to be full as I explained that it is going to be a two layer tray. So this is my first layer. And now I have taken a tiny container and in this container I have poured 20 ml of resin and I will be using my best ever casting craft for making a flower it is always best for creating effects so i just shake my bottle and i will be adding around eight to nine drops so in a 20 ml of resin if you add around nine drops or eight drops of this casting craft this is perfect recipe for creating a flower the key is that you need to have a honey like consistency for your resin Another thing that I do is I use this gun and it is perfect and the temperature that I'm looking for is anything above 36 degrees because this is the temperature when the it's time to create the flower. So perfect this is uh, 37 so it is perfect time for creating the flower. And I will be putting this resin into the jiffy so bag. I put my resin into the jiffy bag and I'm just making a small incision and after that I will be uh, just checking the flow of the resin in the container and then i will be doing the flower here so it's really up to you whatever design you want to go for i will be making two flowers in this dish so you have seen that a lot of artists do make multiple flowers in the coaster or trays i never tried this so this is my chance to do that so i'm just making a swiggly line all around and i will be making one here and one on the bottom So I'm missing some spots later on I, with the help of my any tool I will be using a leftover a white paste into the top from the container and I will be just uh, covering up all the petals. Just take your time in making the petals so it's there is no hurry. Because if you want a beautiful flower, you need to have some patience. And after that, with the help of this one, it's normal. It's a brush. I'm just using the back of the brush. And as I, as I have explained that some of the places are missing. So I'm just using the back of the brush to complete the lines. And now with the help of the back, again, I will be making the petals. Each time I am just wiping the back of the uh, tool. All done and I will leave this to cure and I will see you next day. Yay! So this is the next day and you can see the back of the flowers are beautiful. So the design of the flower is totally unique. I haven't seen this type of flower bloom so I'm excited to see how they look like. So I want to add some leaves to these flowers. So for that I have picked some fresh leaves and I'm just checking the size of the petal where it goes. So I will link the video above here where I showed you detail how I do that. So onto the fresh leaf I put some UV resin and just spread it and after that this goes under the UV lamp and simply it comes off very easily. Sometimes it's a bit struggle as this time I did had some struggle but you just simply use a steel wool to remove the leaf. So it's really simple.
so here you can see i created a sort of inlays and this is uh, how the leaf looks like the leaf was a bit stuck to the uv resin so i need to use a steel wool but all in all i love the look of this the veins are a bit uh, it's it's giving me a skeletal leaf effect so i have i am now using a chameleon powders and for this i it's really up to you i will be going with a golden greenish tone here and here I, I am just simply rubbing the chameleon powders onto the leaf one thing i want to tell you is that my resin is a bit on the softer side the flower one at the coast the tray that you see it is cured but it is still soft so this is the time when i want to add my leaves so if your resin is cured hard you need a very thin layer of resin and then you put the leaves so this is what you're going to do but for me my resin is a bit soft so i will be embedding these leaves into the tray so I'm done with the powders and now I'm going to put the leaves. Just pressing it hard so that it gets into the resin. Here goes the first one and now onto the second one. In this way you can make a complete design out of your coaster trays so this is such a unique way of creating a different organic look so here my leaves are placed and after that i will be putting some uh, heavy weights on these crystals so that they don't move so like this i am just showing you that i put some crystals on top of it and this is next day by the way so you can see how my leaves are embedded into the tray and now it's time to uh, do the final layer and I will be mixing my resin again by from Timu and I will be adding a black pigment to that. It's already been mixed and I am just covering the back now simply. It's done. I will see you next day. So this is the next day. Super excited to see how this turns out. But first of all, I'm going to show you the bird that I haven't showed you but I simply poured uh, clear resin into this bird and I'm just demolding it so this is going to be part of my tray out of the mold now and I'm just loving how clear the bird looks like so just giving you a bit of hint that by putting the bird onto a holographic paper this is how it looks like maybe next time I will be doing something like this but this time I'm doing something different so just demold the tray now So it's out of the mold it's time to turn over and let's see and how beautiful this flower looks like and those leaves on the back and that white black background everything is perfection here i love the look of this so you can leave it like that it's really up to you but i'm going to take it on a next level and my next level is that i'm going to use the gilding glue onto the edges of this tray to enhance its beauty, its beauty. So with the help of the brush, I will be applying the gilding glue onto the design of this tray here, the filigree. Taking my time to apply the gilding glue. And after that, I will be applying the gilding glue onto the bird and I will be totally covering this as I'm going to cover this, the, the bird as a whole. So I will be doing the same here. So I will leave it to dry so it gets sticky. So see you next day. This is the next day. As you can see, it's all clear now. It's time to apply the gold foil. So I will be covering this bird with the gold foil. 
Meanwhile, I'm covering the bird with the foil. I want to tell you that everything will be linked in my description. All the links to the products that I'm using and I got from Timu. And plus there will be discount codes to please make sure that you check the description for all the details. And grab the opportunity to buy the stuff that I got. And I have applied the gold foil onto the bird and after that I will be using a brush, a soft brush to remove the excess gold foil. And after that I will be applying the gold foil on the edges of this tray, similarly as I applied to the bird. And first I will be applying the gold foil and later on I will be rubbing it with the brush so that it gets on all the edges smoothly. And it's done now this is how the tray looks like and it's looking already pretty so I'm going to place this bird I'm just finding the right position and I think this is the perfect position for the bird I'm super excited how beautiful this tray is some molds are so unique and beautiful I just love the design Still, I'm not happy with the placement, but I think that is the only place the bird will look good. So, I'm just cleaning it up. And again, I have mixed my resin from Timu and I will be doing a top coat. Although it is super shiny, but still I need to do the top coat as it has the beauty of everything. After pouring the resin, I'm going to use the heat gun so that the resin reaches to all the corners plus it helps to remove the bubbles if there are any. And here with the help of my fingers, I'm applying the resin onto the gilded area where I applied the gold foil so that it gets covered. So I will be doing this on all around all the edges. And here we go. I've added the bird. I hope I'm happy with the place now. Yeah, I'm still moving it. But this is the last step and let's see the final product next day. So this is the final look of the tray. As I already told you that it was looking amazing before but now it's done now. The golden edges, there's the filigree, the flower in the center and the leaves. And along with that beautiful tiny little little bird, everything is amazing. I just love the look of this tray. And I hope you like it too. And again, I'm just telling you that everything will be linked in my description for you to purchase and with all the discount codes from Timu so that you can enjoy yourself and treat yourself with all the gorgeous and amazing mold at best prices because I have listed all the prices on the product so again I hope you like it and if you did please do let me know in comments and also please like subscribe and share thumbs up if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed please consider do so and take good care of yourself bye bye